Hello friends, welcome to the Viva House of Anatomy. Today we will discuss about the fourth ventricle. The fourth ventricle is a tent-like cavity of a hind brain which is situated between the pons and the upper part of the medulla in front and the cerebellum behind. It is placed in the posterior cranial fossa of the skull. It is lined by the ependymal cells. Above it is continuous with the cavity of the third ventricle through the cerebral aqueduct of a midbrain and below it is continuous with the central canal of a spinal cord. Now the fourth ventricle is having lateral boundary, the floor or anterior boundary and the roof or a posterior boundary and having an extension into the surrounding structure which is known as a recess. First we discuss about the recess which is not seen over here. The recesses are two lateral recesses which is present around the lateral angle of our fourth ventricle, two dorsolateral recesses which is extend inferiorly and posteriorly and one dorsomedian recess which is extend uh, in the middle part inferiorly. Now we discuss about it a boundary. For that we take a horizontal sagittal section, a horizontal section through the fourth ventricle. This is a horizontal section of a fourth ventricle separating the pons medulla from the cerebellum. We have removed the cerebellum. Okay. So here the lateral boundary, this one, is formed by Superolaterally, it is formed by the superior cerebellar peduncle. Inferolaterally, it is formed by the inferior, uh, inferior cerebellar peduncle and supplemented by the gracile and the cuneate tubercle. So, this is the lateral boundary. Now, the roof. Roof, you can see in the sujetal section better. The roof is a tent shape with the apex is facing posteriorly into the white core of a cerebellum. The roof is having the upper and the lower sloping surface. The upper sloping surface is formed by the thin seat of a gray matter which is known as a superior medullary vagum. And the lower part of the roof is formed by the non-nervous tissue that is the ependyma and the two fold of the pyometer which is known as the inferior medullary vein. Now the important lies in the lower part of the roof. In the lower part of the roof, in the midline, there is one aperture which is known as a median slit, median aperture or a foramen of Magandhi. Through the foramen of Magandhi, the cavity of the fourth ventricle communicate with the subarachnoid space between the cerebellum and the medullary junction or you can say between in the cerebellum medullary system. Now the literally, literally the cavity of the fourth ventricle, it extends as a literal recess. Now at the end of the literal recess, it will shows the two opening which is known as a literal aperture or a foramen of Lusca. Through this foramen of Lusca, the cavity of the fourth ventricle communicates with the subarachnoid space between the pons, between the, ang between the angle between the pons and the cerebellum, cerebellum pontine system. So these are the openings which is present in the lower part of a roof. Now talking about the flow. The floor of a fourth ventricle is a diamond shape or a rhomboid shape. So it is also known as a rhomboid fossa. The floor is bounded superolaterally with the superior cerebellar peduncle, inferolaterally with the inferior cerebellar peduncle and the gracile and, and the cuneate tubercle. Now we see the feature, important feature in the floor of the fourth ventricle. Yes, of course, the floor is formed by the posterior surface of the pons and the posterior surface of the upper part of the medulla oblongata. So, it is having the upper pontine part and lower medullary part. Now, the feature of the pons. You can see in the midline, 
in the floor of a fourth ventricle or in the rhomboid fossa it is marked by a one groove or a sulcus this is known as a median sulcus the median sulcus above continues with the sagittal aqueduct of a midbrain and the below it continues with the central canal of a medulla oblonga now on the either side of a median sulcus you can see the longitudinal elevation this is known as a median eminence median eminence lateral to the median eminence there is another sulcus the faint sulcus you can see over here the faint sulcus this is known as a sulcus limitans sulcus limitans now the lateral to the sulcus limitans in the lateral angle of the flow somewhere over here like this area is known as a vestibular area because it lies above the vestibular nuclei now here in the medullary part you can see the transverse ridges which is extending from the median fissure to the inferior cerebellar peduncle this striation is known as a stria medullaris stria medullaris now we trace the sulcus limitus superiorly at the superior edge over here it will form the small triangular depression which is known as a superior fovea above the superior fovea you can see the bluish discoloration which is known as a locus cerebellus locus cerebellus is formed by the underlying the pigment producing nerve cell which is which producing the substantia ferrucinia now at the level of a superior fovea on the median eminence you can see the two oval shaped elevation which is known as a facial colliculus facial colliculus now the facial colliculus is produced due to the motor nucle uh, the fibers from the motor nuclei of a facial nerve which hooking around the nucleus of a abducens and form the facial colliculus now the inferiorly sulcus limitans will form the inferior fovea and it will run obliquely downwards and towards the mid line to meet with the median sulcus and form the two triangle one is a medial or upper triangle which is known as a hypoglossal triangle and the lower lateral triangle is known as a vagal triangle now the area between the two vagal triangle and the cuneate tubercle is known as a area posterior now one more structure which is not clearly seen over here on the inferior lateral boundary on the inferior cerebellar peduncle you can able to see sometimes the white ridges which is known as a tinea now the right and the left tinea will meet at the inferior angle of a flow to form the obex so the obex is the lower most angle or a inferior angle of a floor of the fourth ventricle or a rhomboid fossa so this is all about the fourth ventricle thank you if you like this video like it and share with your friends and to get the regular update on the anatomy videos please subscribe to the our channel and click on the bell icon